Hey guys, today we're going to be going over how to set up your own router instead of the stock router that comes with your AT&T U-verse, which is a G-band router. So if you wanted some faster speeds, you can set up your own router. Let's say in this case, I'm going to be using a dual band router. And uh, what you want to do is hook up the Ethernet on the back of your new router to one of the yellow ports on your AT&T U-verse router. And once you do that, you want to make sure it's powered up and you're going to open up your browser and you're going to go to the default gateway of the AT&T router which is 192.168.1.254 if you type that in correctly it will take you to the home page of the AT&T U-verse router and you're going to press on the third tab on the top which is settings Once you press on that, you're going to press on event notifications and you're going to make sure that enable detection of router behind router conditions is checked. Press save. It'll ask you for a password. That password is the device's access code which is located on your default AT&T U-verse router. It's at the bottom or on the side. And once you save that, you're going to go under uh, wireless once you click on wireless uh, you're gonna look down on wireless interface it's enabled currently what you want to do is disable that so you take advantage of your new router and uh, there aren't any interfering uh, frequencies with the old G router and your new let's say N router this is optional but I have uh, experience that it's better to just disable the old interface with dual band it's better because it can handle traffic flow better you can set them to different frequencies then you're gonna go scroll down press on save and it'll ask you for that device access code again you'll type that in and press submit if it all goes well you should get this green box and you're all done now it is using your new faster router over AT&T's uh, G-band router and you'll notice that the that the stock G router's name will disappear if you have gone and disabled that and uh, yeah hope this helps you guys